in the middle of the Arizona desert, about two hours outside of Phoenix, there is a hidden gem for drifting. I'm talking about Musselman Honda Circuit. This track is so good for drifting because it's a Japanese style track with one to two high speed corners right at the beginning and then all the rest of the corners are closer together making it really smooth to link the track and with the high speed corners at the start and it's slowing down from there it saves a lot on tire wear. It is actually literally a replica of the Suzuka Circuit South Course which is a Japanese go-kart track. This track for drifting here in Arizona attracts both low power cars like an 886 or high power cars like this S chassis. I seem to find that a lot of like go-kart tracks are really good for drifting because like normal road race courses, you can build a lot of speed and there are often big straights between corners, which is great for road racing so you can pass and all that stuff. But for drifting, that means you can't link the entire track. But go-kart tracks and motorcycle tracks are sometimes uh, just shrunk down. So there aren't as big a gaps between the corners. And yeah, the corner's a little tighter, a little slower speed, but that's usually pretty good for tandems. So you can get real tight tandems out here at go-kart tracks. So I'm really excited to check out the driving here. This does seem kind of like a Japanese style track where you've got a big acceleration into like the first corner, and then you've got kind of a big straight over here. And then everything back there where the cars are at right now, if you can see them, are very tight, technical, you know, back and forth. You should make some really interesting tandems. Now, of course, I don't have my own car here today because I'm still got it torn down, I'm getting it prepared for the Southwest Speed Festival in September. So I'm just out here shooting medium, a high-vis vest, and we'll see what kind of cool stuff I can capture. And uh, hopefully also show you a little bit about how awesome this track is. This is honestly probably one of the best drift tracks in the Southwestern United States. There's a really good group of cars out here. You have the typical 350Zs, G35s, and E46s, but you also have some IS300s and Miatas. I love that there are so many Miatas drifting here in Arizona. Lo and behold, there's a drift truck out here. A Tacoma with something turbocharged in it, that's rad. The thing that I'm standing on right here as I'm watching drivers go by meow, is actually like a little uh, dirt bike track in the middle. Which is pretty cool. So all the media people are standing on the mounds as we're sitting here shooting. And uh, yeah, we're standing in the middle of a dirt bike track in the middle of a racetrack. This is in 
incredible. The sun's starting to go down. I'm getting these really sweet golden hour shots, photos, and videos. And this is, I man, this track is amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait to be able to drive it once my car's back together. Because this seems like so much fun. I to do a little pit walk and check out some of the cars. We're gonna put this kind of in the middle uh, so we can break up from the driving, I guess. So this is pretty cool. An IS300 with an IS300 Sports Cross, the wagon, those are really, uh, pretty rare at this point. They're pretty really low production numbers anyway, and so seeing one that's this clean out here is pretty awesome. I don't think he's drifting it, but uh, still pretty cool. Super low 350Z. Vert S14. This car sounds really good. I think it's got an RB in it. RB25? Yes, sir. Sweet. That's awesome, dude. Uh, still got the JDM Magic. <laughs> been that's rad dude that's so awesome yeah. now aside from the 86 i think that my favorite vehicle that's been out here is uh this one a toyota tacoma pickup truck it has got like 330 something thousand miles on it stock unopened engine with a turbo man that's so cool so cool and there's this super flashy, good looking uh, BRZ out here. He was doing really good, really good driving. And it's got a turbo right there. And there's this super sick IS300. So the guy who owns this is the brother of the guy who owns this, who's that guy. And he also has a Beams 86. So this is, uh, this is pretty sweet. They just finished the cage in this, I guess, uh, very recently. S13.5. This car was doing really good too. With a proper engine. A lot of BMWs here too. E46, there's another one over there. Yeah. Also a ton of Miatas out here shredding, which is really cool to see. It's not very often you see Miatas out drifting, let alone doing really well, and they've been doing really well out here. I found the 8.6! Ah! It was, it was smoking. What happened? I got video of that. What happened? Why was it smoking? Just the tires were... Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the tires were too hot, so the tires were smoking. And it was, it was a lot. I thought, it, I don't know if like the rear end blew up or something. I was just like, oh no. Oh, it's just the tires? Oh, that's easy. Ah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I love that there's so many 8.6s that come out drifting in Arizona. There are quite a few here. It's pretty cool. So I decided to move spots. Uh, this is down after that first corner and then past that straight. I didn't realize there were some jiggy jiggies back here, so I'm gonna shoot some stuff down this way.
my camera battery is about to die and my memory card is about full. So uh, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, it's later. I said I'd talk about the media entry fee and I might as well do that now. Uh, you know, I was charged 75 bucks to come shoot media and that was a lot more than I was expected. Everything I found online before I got there and talking to people, it's like, no, 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 you pay spectator entry fee. That's golden, good with that. Uh, and you go talk to their media people to make sure that you can actually go out on track. Because you don't want 30 people running around or out there with cell phones versus real camera rigs. And uh, you know, there's, at some point there's some limitation. I think unfortunately because I've ran events for several years and I've been drifting for so long, I have an opinion about almost everything and I try to just shut that out and just have a good time. And I had a blast. Everything about the event was awesome except for that media fee. So, and this isn't meant as a slight uh, or put down against Musclemen. So Musclemen Hot Circuit, if you guys are seeing this, hey, reach out to me. I'm happy to work with you to share some of my experience from the events that I've ran or been a part of running that have been really successful with media. And I also have a pretty good uh, network of drift organizations across the country and media managers across the country for, for grassroots events similar to this one that I'm happy to share with you best practices. I totally understand racetracks have to make money, right? Events have to turn enough of a profit for the racetrack to justify having continuing drifting. And uh, that is something that I obviously don't have the numbers in the racetrack what it costs, but I think there are ways that media can help grow events. Media is always there to try and, and provide a service for drivers and for the racetrack. And you can't have promotional videos and flyers and pictures without, without having photographers and videographers there. You know, I, the, everything from the driver side was awesome. Entry fee and all that stuff was, was fantastic. The event was ran so, so well. So maybe next time I head out to Musclemen, I'll be driving because that track is freaking awesome. And uh, I can't wait to drive it. I am so excited to drive it. I don't know if it'll be with Project Cream Puff here or if I'll bring my full-blown drift car in a supercharged 8.6, but uh, I look forward to coming out to Musselman again. I really do. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening to my spiel about media passes and check out some of my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Thanks, guys.